Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to provide column with proper column orientation. So, this is a soft drawing. Here, I will provide column and uh, also we will discuss how to decide the orientation of column. Now, if you are new to my channel, then click the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. Now, let's get started. Now, here I will place columns and we will decide orientation of column. Now, orientation of column depends how much load is coming to the column. Now, how to know from where load is coming to the column? Okay, so how to decide how we will know? from which direction load is suppose here this is a column and here this is a column so how to know from where load is coming to this column so for this we have to check size of beam attached to column because through beam all loads such as beams self weight if there is any secondary beam it's that secondary beams weight slab weight and wall weight all these indirect loads comes to column through beam. So basically according to size of beam, we will decide orientation of column. So this is G plus 1 house. It's a SOP. So here this is, you can see. This is room 1. And this is room 2. Here we are doing, I will do it in meter. So this side it is 4.9 meter and this side 4.3 meter. This is 4.5 meter and this side 4.3 meter. And this is 10.9 meter. 0 9 meter now uh, here we are doing in meter so size of column i will take here 0 0.23 meter into 0 0.3 meter that, that is 9 inch into 12 inch so this is the rectangular column so i will take a rectangle rec enter specify first point here click here right click go to dimensions uh, 0 0.23 we have to space 0 0.23 press enter and 0 0.3 meter 0 0.3 press enter so this is a rectangular column you can see so here one side is 0 0.23 meter and the side 0 0.3 meter so, I will move this to here. So, here this is the shorter side of column that is 0 0.23 meter and this is longer side of column 0 0.3 meter. So, 0 0.3 meter is longer side of column and 0 0.23 meter is shorter side of column. So, I will hatch this column first. This is the longer side and this is shorter side. 0 0.3 meter is longer side and 0 0.23 meter is shorter side of column. So, shorter side of column should be oriented towards longer side of wall. Why? Because as I have already said, column orientation depends on size of beam. So, longer side wall means beam will be longer and more load is coming from longer side wall. And shorter side of column resists more load. So, column should be oriented at shorter side facing longer side wall. Okay. Column should be oriented at shorter side facing longer side wall. So, always remember, shorter, shorter side of column should be oriented towards longer side wall. So, shorter side shorter side of column resists more load so
column should be oriented sorter should be oriented uh, sorter side of column should be oriented towards longer side wall so here i'll hatch this solid hatch i'll do now this is in column layer so so first here we will place column so to this point um, to here uh, load is coming from this side 4.9 meter from this side and from this side 4.3 meter so from 4.9 and from 4.3 which side is longer 4.9 meter is longer than 4.3 meter that is x axis so load is coming from more load is coming from x axis that is 4.9 meter so shorter side should be oriented towards longer side so i'll copy this and i will rotate means shorter side of this column should be towards 4.9 meter rotate this now shorter side of column should be towards 4.9 meter because this is the longer side more load is coming from this side 4.9 meter so this side shorter side will be towards this so i will copy this and paste this is 4.3 and this 4.9 4.9 is greater than 4.3 so more load is coming from 4.9 meter as this is greater than 4.3 so copy and paste it here now this is the shorter side is towards 4.9 meter next this point so to this point here both sides beams are there and load is coming from th three sides so load is coming from 4.9 meter from 4.5 meter and from 4. this is 4.3 meter okay here here both side beams are there and column is in middle so load is coming from three directions so from here 4.9 minus 4.5 so here both the beams resisting each other so 4.9 minus 4.5 meter so it will be 0.4 meter so more load is coming from y direction from 4.3 meter okay this is the longer side so shorter side again should be towards longer side so that means shorter side should be oriented towards this side for towards y direction on 4.3 meter side okay 4.9 meter minus 4.3 meter so that is 0.4 meter and this is the longer side okay should shorter side should be oriented towards this side hope you understand so i will copy this select copy and paste it here so here more load is coming from this side 4.3 meter so shorter side is towards 4.3 meter side this side okay next this point so to this point load is coming from this beam and this beam this is 4.5 meter and this is 4.3 meter so more load is coming from 4.5 meter so shorter side should be oriented towards this side 4.5 meter so i will copy and paste it here this is next this is 4.5 is greater than 4.3 so more load is coming from this one this is bigger beam greater 4.5 is greater than 4.3 so more load is coming from 4.5 meter next this side here load is coming from again 4.3 meter from this side and from this side 4.5 meter so same so load is coming more load is coming from 4.5 meter so shorter side of column will oriented towards longer side that is 4.5 meter see towards this side shorter side this is 4.3 meter and this is 4.5 meter so greater is 4.5 meter so 4.5 meter is longer side wall so longer beam is there so more load is coming from 4.5 meter see here this is here to here 
this is 4.5 meter so more load is coming from this side 4.5 meter wall 4.5 meter beam so sorter side should be oriented towards 4.5 meter so i'll copy and paste it here next here here both side now this side this is 4.5 meter and this is 4.9 meter and this is 4.3 meter so load is coming from three sides so this beam and this beam both are resisting to each other so 4.5 minus 4.5 sorry 4.9 minus 4.5 that is 0.4 so more load is coming from y direction that is 4.3 meter from this direction so shorter side of column should be oriented towards this side okay because this is 0.4 but this is 4.3 so shorter side should be oriented towards this side so i will copy this select copy and paste it here now this point here same thing load is coming to this point load is coming from this direction and from this direction to this column load is coming from 4.3 meter wall and from 4.9 meter wall so longer side is 4.99 meter wall so more load is coming from 4.9 meter wall so shorter side should be oriented towards 4.9 meter wall so select copy and paste shorter side should be towards 4.9 meter wall so hope you understand now i will provide column here also now here here this is 2.6 meter so we need to provide column here so on this point here load is coming to this this column load is coming delete this load is coming from this side this is 2.6 meter and from here to here this 2.6 meter and uh, this is construction line this distance here to here this is 2.13 meter so longer side is 5 sorry 5.13 meter longer side is 5.13 meter so shorter side of column will be towards 5.13 meter because more load is coming from 5.13 meter so i'll copy and paste it here shorter side will be towards 5.13 meter next column is here so to here load is coming from three sides from this side from this side and from this side now this is sorry we have to take a construction line here again okay now this distance is 4.73 meter so from this side 4.73 this side 5.13 but this side 2.6 meter so 5.13 minus 4.73 so this is longer side 2.6 meter is longer side so shorter side should be towards 2.6 meter because more load is coming from 2.6 2.6 meter so shorter side will be oriented towards 2.6 meter so i'll copy and paste it here so copy and paste it here now this column now to this point load is coming from here 4.73 meter and uh, from 2.6 meter so more load is coming from 4.73 meter so shorter side should be towards 4.73 meter so i hope you understand how to decide column orientation so this is this is how you will decide the column orientation so always remember shorter side of column will be oriented towards longer side wall because more load is coming from longer side wall and shorter side of column resists more load so this is
so this is the this is how you can uh, place column with proper column orientation so i will provide estimation of this house and uh, this is a framed structure i will provide estimation of this framed structure soap and i will uh, uh, create another uh, two roomed house with load bearing structure and i will provide that house estimation also so i hope you like this video and if you find this video helpful don't forget to like share and comment thank you for watching